Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for OnePlus 5T. This time we have Evolution X ROM based on Android 15. And as you know, officially you cannot get Evolution X ROM for this device. This is an unofficial version of the ROM. And I do have Android 16 based ROM for this device, Evolution X. But right now I'm trying Android 15 based. And this one is working pretty well. And after this one, I will try Android 16 one. So as you can see here, Android 15, the version we are using here is 10.7. The security patch level is 1st July 2025 and the ROM working pretty well and this one is actually one of the best Android 15 based ROM you can get for this device. So as you can see here the setting UI is pretty much similar to all other Android 15 based ROM. Looks good. Nothing new here actually and the control panel is also pretty similar. For customization we do get Evolver section which got tons of customization and we do get now bar with this ROM, as you can see here, now bar is a Bible and it is working well. The now bar you can use. So theme section, as you can see, and if you want to use now bar, you have to turn it on actually and turn it on from here. Lock screen section, as you can see here and status bar in the miscellaneous section, we do get component spoofing. Unfortunately, we are not getting any kind of safety net here. So if you want to fix it manually, you can do it from here. We do get Google Photos Unlimited Storage. Also, we can unlock higher FPS in games. So, those things are a Bible. And that's all what you are getting. There are tons of customization available. You can explore the ROM yourself. In terms of network connectivity, so Wi Fi, Bluetooth working perfectly fine. And the hotspot is working well, as you can see here. Usually, most of the ROM come with the hotspot issue, but this one is working well as you can see here. Only thing which is not working is Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi. Other things are working pretty well, no issue at all. In the app section, we do get clone apps, app lock, game space, assistant, sidebar option. If you want it, you can turn it on. It is working well actually, so as you can see here. No issue at all. So these are the things you are getting. Notification, pretty much similar to all other ROM. Sound and vibration working well, no issue at all. And we do get Parade volume control and also we are getting clear calling and few other options here. Modes option is a Bible. Display section as you can see here, adaptive brightness is working. And we do get double tap to sleep and double tap to walk. Working well, no issue at all as you can see here. In the wallpaper and style section, as you can see, we can change clock up to a liking. In the more wallpapers option, we do get AI wallpaper and Emoji Workshop. Both of them working well, no issue at all. And default Google's wallpapers, those are available here. In the more lock screen option, we do get AOD. So as you can see, always show in charging or always on display schedule. Or we can enable it for always. So we can enable it as you can see here. And also we can see the now bar. That's all what you are getting on this section. In terms of storage, by default it will take 15 GB of storage. Backup and copy data and battery. So this is one of the best ROM I have got in terms of battery backup. It does come with few customization options as you can see here. Like we can control the charging up to 80% or it can schedule, limit. Those things are a Bible. And battery information is also a Bible here. As I said, battery backup is insane. I did take a screenshot of battery backup actually. Let me show you that. So as you can see here, I usually charge my device once a day. So I have like started in the morning as you can see here. I got four hours of screen on time and that's kind of amazing for this device actually. It got only 3300 mAh battery and I did play two hours game. So amazing actually so by the time actually 16 percent left when i finished actually so you can get up to four and a half hour of sot from this device if you don't play games maybe more than that so the battery backup is pretty awesome and in the system setting we do get few other options buttons and gesture in the button setting we do get additional buttons option. 
you can customize the silent button like top position middle position and the bottom position all those things and there are a few other options available as you can see here and in terms of security and privacy we do get both face and fingerprint unlock so fingerprint unlock is working well no issue at all i haven't faced any issue regarding fingerprint and i didn't really unroll the face unlock here it's going to be a little bit slower side but does work as an android flipping based rom we do get private space as you can see here in the more secure and privacy option we do get few options as you can see here theft protection sim lock and all other things location is working well and few other option so these are the things you are getting in terms of application this is a gfs build so we do get few google application here we are getting gcam go with this rom which does work but the quality is not really good sometimes it doesn't work that well so this rom has camera issue so camera quality is not really good although they do work sometimes sometimes it doesn't work that well so if you use your device for recording videos and also taking pictures this is not really a good rom for that other things like google photos unlimited storage is available as i said as you can see here unlimited storage but no music editor so if i try now enhance it will crash actually so if i try now so app is crashed in terms of phone call as i said bo lt and bo wifi not working but we can record call so call recording is working well no issue at all and as i said we are not getting any kind of safety net here so bank apps not going to work setting about as you can see your device is not certified because of that actually chat gpt is also not working because chat gpt also required safety net feature so chat gpt is not working other things like we do get circuit to charge option which is working well no issue at all and we do get music player which is called accord this one is actually a really good music player and that's all what you are getting in terms of application and in terms of gaming it was good you can't really expect more than that from this device i haven't faced any kind of lag or sluggishness when i was playing game if you are someone who play games on this device this rom is actually perfect for that too overall the rom is pretty damn good as you can see here you are getting pretty good battery backup pretty smooth animation as you can see and overall you can't really get a better rom for this device which is based on android 15 so if you want to try this rom the rom link will be in the description below that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one